Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's SQL Accounting System tutorial, I'll talk about maintaining acceptable transaction date. Let's go to SQL. Normally, SQL dealer will advise customer do not require to do month end or year end for SQL. The reason being is, it's easier for you to make comparison or search back a previous year transactions. But under two very unique circumstances, then personally, I will advise you to do so. The first one is maybe this is your first financial year and your financial year is not 12 months, maybe less than 12 or more than 12. So then I will advise you to do a year end after your audit. This first. Secondly is you have too many transactions and the database becomes so huge that it may make the system slow. Then I also advise you to do year end. Of course, if you do like to do year end every year, no problem. SQL do allow you to do so. Now, what happened is, let's say you do not want to do year-end, but you're afraid that your staff might wrongly key in a transaction to a different date, maybe even a different year. Then what you should do? Then you need to do maintain acceptable transaction date. Okay, let's go to tools, go to maintain acceptable transaction date. Over here, let's create an acceptable transaction date that is between 1st of October 2018 until 31st. That means I control, I only accept transaction within this month. So what you need to do, click on the plus, then, sorry, click on the date, let's say it's from 1st of October until 31st of October. So save it. Now, remember, this is not month end. This is not blocking. This is the acceptable transaction date range. So let's see what happened. Now let's go to invoice. Maybe your staff is king in the invoice and he wrongly put the date as 217. So what happened? When he saved, the system will prompt him the transaction date for outside acceptable transaction date. Do you want to save it? So no, or you can actually click yes. That is still wrong, right? So meaning that if you only set over here, it's only prompt you, but you still can save it. So normally after doing this is the first step. The second step is actually you need to go to maintain user. Let's say I want to go to more access control. Now, this all the user, and you need to go to tools. There's one option called override acceptable transaction date. Let's remove the rights of overriding. Save it and log in again as D. Okay, this time we log in as D log in and they stop trying to do the same mistake okay 217 and try to save it transaction date for outside you have no rights to override you can click ok or click override when you click override, then he need to request a person with the rights to override to key the username and password. Maybe you ask the boss. Then able to save. Else, even he try to edit the transaction, also cannot. So remember, for SQL accounting system, or maintain acceptable transaction date as two steps. Step one, maintain the date. Step two is to remove the rights of the particular person. So that's how you do it in SQL accounting system. Once again, thank you for watching. And I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.